it's going to get slicker. You have to finish up front, and you have to do to do that. You have to run the bottom of the racetrack. The shortest way around is going to be the quickest. It's going to be drier and slicker. If you get off that racing surface, we're going to call it a groove. You can see the blue groove starting to come in off of turn number four, especially. But you got to stay on the inside. The short line is the fastest way around the racetrack. So that opening straightaway out of the start gate is going to be key. You want to be out in the lead there into that first turn right there. Our finalist, Kenny Coolbeth Jr., Jeffrey Carver Jr., Briar Bauman, Sammy Helpert, your returning gold medalist, Jared Mees, your returning silver medalist, and Jake Johnson. By the way, Sammy Helpert and Jared Mees both have a gold and a silver apiece in this event. Will one of them claim another gold, or will we hand out the gold medal to somebody else here this year? We will find out as we get set to drop the gator. The start gate's another one. That is brand new to Harley Davidson flat track racing this year. We don't typically do that as this event here. Only at X Games. We don't do it on any other race we go to except for here at X Games. Maybe they do it the Super Prestige over in Europe, but in the United States, we only have a start gate at X Games, and that's why it's very important. Who's been practicing these starts? I don't know. We'll have to see who gets off the line and then who gets into the first corner. You're going to be carrying more momentum into the first corner, so you've got to slow down a little bit sooner and keep it down there on the inside of the first and second corner. That's Jared Meese on the inside line right there running that number nine plate, and uh, he has been extremely dominant in both the quarterfinals and the semis in those starts. He gets out to an early lead and he just pulls away from the rest of the pack, and as we've talked about, the start has been key. This is the final here for Harley Davidson Flat Track Racing. We are set to drop the gate and get these guys underway. It's 20 laps this time around, and this one's for the medal, Scotty. Into the first corner. Carver's got the whole shot. Can he keep it down? Yes, he can. So Carver's going to lead off for tournament two. Carver in front of Meese. They've got Bowman right there in the third spot. So this is what we've been waiting for. The, the two semifinal winners who are out front right now. Carver won his semi. Jared Meese won his semi. Now they square off head to head. Carver Jr., Meese, Bowman, your one, two, three as of right now. So again, the qualifier, the, excuse me, the quarterfinals and the semifinal laps were 15 lap races. We added an extra five here in the final. So it gives you a little more time to try to adjust if you need to get into a passing lane. On the American Flat Track Series, Jeffrey Carver, the 23, is the only bike and only rider that's beat me so far this season, and he's doing it again here at X Games. Well, Jeffrey Carver Jr., last year he was fourth. He had a flat front tire on lap 19. He was running second when he got that flat tire, and it took him out of a metal contention spot. Now they're stacking him up. The leader makes a mistake. Here comes Meese up the inside. No mistakes. You cannot make a mistake. Carver goes from first all the way back to fourth. Look at that onboard camera shot right there. It just shows you how tight the grouping is and how crazy those corners are right there. That on camera shot by there, by the there, right there, by the way, courtesy of Sammy Halpert. Sammy Halpert now on the factory Harley Davidson has moved himself up into the third spot. He's in a metal position if he can keep it on two wheels. Can he get up there and track? Back down the leaders. It is Meese out front. Briar Bauman in second right now. He's the bridesmaid so far. Carver, the early leader, is way back and forth. It looks like he's a little bit rattled. He's got to refocus. Concentrate on hitting your marks into the corner. Concentrate on coming off the corner strong and try to track down those top three riders up there. So last year's champ sitting in third right now. And Briar Bauman sitting in second right now. This is huge because he finished at 24th last year. Didn't even make the final. He was running second as he when a link broke in his chain and he crashed in the corner and he didn't have the time to get his bike ready for the LCQ, but here in 2018, he finds himself in a silver medal position here on lap 9 out of 20. He's fighting the bike just a little bit going into turn 1. We've talked about how physical it is because it's so short. 12 second, 11.8 second lap times. you got to slow the thing down, really turn in the corner. Sammy Halbert has his hands full in turn number 4, still remains in the third spot. Look at this. Briar Bauman's actually caught the leader coming up at turn number 2. Wow, this is good, good, good here as Bauman is starting to press Jared Mees right there. These two riders out front. Briar Bauman actually stayed with Meese over the winter time down in Florida and trained with them. So he rides with them. He knows what he's doing, and he's tracking down the leader. So we are at lap 12 out of 20. Again, this is the Harley Davidson Flat Track Racing Final. This is the last race. This one is for the medals here in X Games Minneapolis 2018. Your defending gold medalist currently sits in a bronze medal position. And last year's silver medalist, Jared Meese, currently sits in a gold medal spot. Briar Bauman, who's in second right now, does not have any X Games medals. I know he wants one right now. I know he wants the gold one, but he might be happy with silver as Meese has turned it on and stretching out the lead now. Meese pulling away. Uh, Meyer's best flat track finish was all the way back in Austin in 2015, the first year we contested this event. He finished sixth. After that, he's got a 17th place finish from 2016, and that 24th from last year that we mentioned when he had the mechanical in his heat. And Breyer's only been riding this Indian motorcycle uh, just about a little over a month. He started riding at Lima, Ohio last month in June, and now he's right there, second spot. Now we got a battle heat number third. Here comes Jake Johnson. It looks like Breyer Bauman's going backwards. He's now in the clutches of Sammy Howard and Jake Johnson. Breyer struggling just a little bit. I thought he had a flat tire. He might be 
just running that low of air pressure, but look at this. Third and fourth are right now behind Briar Bauman. Say Jake Johnson is pressing the issue right now. We are on lap 18 out of 20. This could be huge. Can Jake Johnson try to overtake your defending gold medalist and creep up there into podium detention? Catch, catching him one is one thing, Jimmy. Passing him is another. You're going to have to get physical. You're going to have to go in there and force your way through. Push him off the inside groove. That's a real big blue groove coming off of tournament four. And here comes the white flag for your leader. So running out of time here as the white flag is out. We are on the final lap. It's still Mies, Bauman, Halper, Briar Bauman potentially looking at his first flat track medal here at the X Games. He's doing every job he can. Here comes Sammy. Oh, Sammy goes down. Come on the corner. Sammy stuck it in the inside, going for silver. And look at that. He jumps on the bike and still finishes up there at the back of the pack. But look. Things change in a hurry in short track racing, especially when we race indoors. So that is Briar Bauman's first medal. That is me second gold right there. But how about Jake Johnson there with that slip up at the end by Sammy Halpert. So that is Johnson's first medal as well. Two first-time medalists right there, second and third. And then, of course, Meese takes the victory.